To get the most out of this tutorial, I recommend you first watch the Gates Overview tutorial, which is available here. Normal gates have an unofficial name given to them, just to separately identify them from autarkic gates, which are slightly different. In the game, any gate that doesn't have the word autarkic in its name is considered to be a normal gate. Normal gates, just like all other gates, simply have the ability to detect events and respond to them. They come in four different material types. The first one is the basic gate, which is simply listed as gate. Its interface has only one row, which means it can only detect one single event at a time. The second is the iron gate. Its interface has two rows, allowing it to detect two events at a time. The third is the gold gate. With four rows, it allows a detection of four events at a time. And the fourth is the diamond gate. With eight rows, it allows for a detection of up to eight single events at a time. You'll notice an extra column of boxes in the gold and diamond gates. These will allow you to further specify the events you'd like the gate to detect. For example, I have a gold gate which is placed on top of a wooden transport pipe which is connected to a chest. The first box tells the gate to detect when there are items in the inventory. As you can see, the second box's black dash has disappeared. This then allows you to specify exactly which items in the inventory you want to detect. So if I place a cobblestone block here, the gate will only respond if there are cobblestone blocks in the chest's inventory. You will also notice that there are AND and OR variations as well as autarkic variations of gates. I have separate tutorials for those which are located here. 